as you can see, there is a two black cats here. A, a, one with intelligence and one without intelligence. That's because I bought a play set, which gave me the original three power card, and then the upgraded, was it from IQ? Might be from IQ, four power, four stat card. But anyways, the theme for this, Poison Ivy, Huntress, Thorn, and Black Cat are femme fatales. Because whether they're good guys or bad guys, they whether you're a hero or a villain, you can be a femme fatale. Black Cat for Lisa Hardy. I like what they did with her in the Spider-Man anime show, Spider-Man Taz, Spider-Man the animated show. I like what they did with Black Cat there. But I think her, her how she got powers in the comic is completely different. But she either way, she has luck-based powers, which you could tell because power cards are plus four to use for defense because of her luck-based powers. That is something they did in later sets: is they gave cards inherent inherent things like that. Like a black cat crossing this path, the character black cat has luck powers. Unlike Longshot, who has the ability to change the probability of luck, she just has the ability to make her enemies have bad luck, which is a bit different. And she's a bit stronger than she should be. Hence, she can avoid. She she can claim to have nine lives. I guess she can't be, take the name black cat, or cat woman or something like that, and not be a cat burger to some extent or not. It makes sense. This reminds me of the animated series art. Of course, her AA is gonna be cat fight. She's a cat. What else do you expect? As I was saying earlier, her powers, I think she has powers in the comics, are all around bad luck. Your opponent has the bad luck of being the venture total is minus three. Oh. If not successful, okay. So either way, you're up three. You're either up six or up three. Either way, you're up a minimum of three. That is nasty. I can tell, see why it's one per deck. As I said, they're all femme fatales. Inspired by this one god here. Yeah, that's powerful. I don't get this card. I don't know the. Yeah, let me rephrase that. I don't know the lore behind this, but I guess femme fatales are really good against males. I guess that's what that's about. Poison Ivy, Pamela something or other, who was made into a supervillain, given her powers because the Florentic man wanted to see what this injection of toxins would do to a human being. And then, since she has control over plants, it's gonna, and can make them more enormous size. At least that's what I've seen in the comp TV shows, both the Batman the Anime series and the Holly Quinn show. It makes sense that one of her cards would be plot based. You can't be a femme fatale without being a Stuckus. And that basically does what a Stuckus does. With her pheromones and her, according to the movie, 
a love kiss. It makes sense that she can manipulate people easily. That and people always love a vet head. At least that's what the media's taught me to believe. Thorn. So, before I watched this, I did see the video by Casually Comics. Shout out to Casually Comics, who probably doesn't even watch my stuff, but still shout out to Casually Comics. And Thorn is a character who's has two personalities, Rose and Thorn. Thorn is the one that goes and I think she was a villain back in these days, but she's been rebooted as a anti hero type person. I can't remember if she originated in Gotham or um, Metropolis. But it had to be one of the two for this. And that looks painful. That looks like she's kneeing him in the balls, which looks painful. Of course, if she's a thorn, she has to have a thorny whip for her. Because thorn, rose, whip. Yeah, yeah, playing the theme. Yep, yep, yep. I want those daggers. Those daggers look nice. You would not be able to get away with that. You would not be able to get away with those daggers on a Batman animated TV show. That's for sure. Huntress. One of Batman's... Huntress is one of Batman's... Huntress is one... Huntress is one of Batman... Huntress is part of Batman's family. She doesn't have a bat name. She's not a Robin. She's not a bat girl. But she is part of the people that protect Gotham City. And part of Batman's family. I don't... I don't know why she didn't get a bat name. Don't, I don't know enough about Batman to know that, but I do know enough about Batman to know she's part of the Bat family, even though she doesn't have a Batman or bird name. I don't think Batman's... I guess Batman's would be happier with people using crowbars and guns, but I think crowbars would fall under the no-gun rule for the same reason that guns fall under the no-gun rule. The throwing knives, those are batarangs. You can't look at that picture and not say that those are batarangs. Because that's exactly what those are. Those are batarangs. I don't know who on... Dick Grayson was also a trained gymnast. gymnast. I don't know. I am pretty sure any one of the Bat family could win the Olympics at gymnastics at this point. That's how trained of gymnastics gymnasts they are. So that was my Femme Fatale themed overpower character cards. I hope you enjoyed. <laughs>